So there's been a recent wave of you know, terrorism going on in, um, in Israel and we decided that we want to celebrate the lives of the victims, um, kind of focusing on the negative, you know, the, the murders that are happening. It doesn't, there's no hope from that. And so we want to kind of stand in solidarity with all those who have been a victim of terror in the region, um, regardless of you know, race, religion, nationality, sexual orientation, whatever. Once you hear it multiple times a day, day after day, week by week, it doesn't, it's not, it's not new news anymore. It's, it's, it's normal. And I think the scariest part is that something like this happening is normal for a lot of people. And you're not, like, you're desensitized to how serious it is. Having events like this um, are important because, you know, a lot of times the, the media doesn't really sometimes can be have an anti-Israel bias and I think it's important like I think it's important to see both sides of the story like there are Palestinian lives being lost as well and I think it's important to recognize that but I also think that it's important to realize like when um, you know when there's someone trying to stab innocent civilians and that person gets shot because they're murdering others that's what gets shown in the media and not um, you know not necessarily what else is happening on the other side it's not two sides that's not how this isn't a football match where you know you can cheer on the Longhorns over the Sooners there's are people involved and it shouldn't be two teams we should all come together